so this is AQ8100 UV plus uh, visible spectrophotometer so it comes with manual and certificates as well as a USB stick it has pre-programmed uh, methods this is an optional cell holder for 225mm adjustable then it also has uh, replacement wires Three different power cables are included. This is the dash cover for the spectrophotometer. This is the power adapter. This is the snap on filter uh, printer which you can attach it to a meter. And finally, this is the spectrophotometer so to start the meter first you have to attach the power adapter to the side then you have to press the on button so it will take some time to boot up so it comes with 10 mm standard cell holder it is a magnetic uh, cell holder so as you can see it automatically gets attached this is the start screen a total touch screen instrument so this is a uv plus visible spectrometer the range is 190 nanometers to 1100 nanometers uh, there are various pre-programmed folders available so for example millipore in this there are various tests are there so you can select any one as well as you can search from here then there is aquamate orion Chemtrix. So there is linking method also. So you can select animal. Then it will tell you what all is required, at which wavelength, which reagent is used, wide size, everything. And you can press continue. You can change the name also over here. In scan mode then you have to add new method you can see you can change everything you can change the name you can change the range interval transmit and absorb on which axis you wanted then you have to press continue in live display mode you can change from here wavelength and simultaneously it will show the absorbance or transmittance over here so next mode is the C mode in C mode you can change the wavelength standard concentration it is used for single point calibration next mode is quant this is used for multi wavelength calibration and uh, curve development so you can change the equation from here you can change the unit as well you can save the method also and you can also export it import it from the USB or the network via uh, Wi-Fi next is the fix method in this also you can uh, import it from usb for the wi-fi to create the method you can change the equation over here you can change absorbance or transmittance and change the wavelength and the factor as well and you can save it save the method by pressing this button kinetics mode it is used for time based experiments this also you can import from usb or wi-fi 
So this is all you can change over here. Wavelength, reference, time in seconds, data interval. You can see it by pressing this button. Next is the diagnostics. So these are various performance verification tests you can perform. Wavelength accuracy. It has a Xenon flash lamp, which has a extended light. All this you can perform. Then the report will come over here. And you can take a printout as well. And this is the data viewer. You can save all the experiments, the result over here. Take a printout as well. You can export it to the uh, USB or Wi Fi. So you can take a printout. This is multi wavelength scan method. You can here also you can import it. You can make the necessary changes and you can save the method over here. This is OD600. Create a new method, you have to place the plus, plus button. You can make the changes and save the method. This is the setup button. You can enter the setup by pressing this. So you can change the language, display, decrease the brightness, sound, network. You can connect to a Wi Fi from this. It has a yeah, Android interface. You can take a print also printer. So attach the printer, but you have to remove this section. Then you have to take the printer and you have to slide it in. So this is a thermal printer. You can change the name and thing you can put over here. Okay. You can take a printer like that. You can change the data and time. It's how much data or space is available. And lamp state is run on fast lamp. And you can update the software using the USB stick. There are various options over here. You can browse in the settings.